Hello and welcome to the Devon Big Oggy Golf Channel and here he is, the Get man himself. Off. Right. Hi everybody, welcome to the Cornwall and Devon and the South West Big Oggy Golf. Yes, that was very badly Sorry. set up, wasn't it? I, I know. Yeah. As you can see, I am here with Devonshire Neil. Neil, not Neil. Yeah, not sure. I, should we call you not Neil or Yeah, Devonshire I don't mind Neil? that. I don't mind, whatever. Okay. Reason being, we are here today at Starcross Golf, which is just by the River X. Yep. Not very far from where you live. No, it's about 30 minutes from me, so welcome to glorious East Devon and Devonshire now. It, it is beautiful here, it really is. Uh, we wanted to play here for a while. I wanted to come to the charity day last year that road golfers were involved in. We know road golfers, good friends of ours on the channel and uh, good YouTubers themselves. They love this place. In fact, we'll, we'll mention them later on, on the sick, I believe, on the whole. They've done a fantastic review video from this place from last year. Go and watch it because I, I really can't say anything else. No, it's a really in-depth, in isn't it? We're just going to play it, have a bit of fun today. Yeah. It's an approach course. It's nine holes. Fantastic value. It's a very relaxed place. It's a pay and play, so there's no bookings. Uh, casual dress. Nice to see you come casually dressed, mate. This, um, this well, is how I'm, I always dress for golf, you know that, John? I know. I'm well overdressed for this. <laughs> The other thing we need to say is it's open from, well, you kind of say April, April. to October. Yeah. Uh, because this is a, well, this is a wildfowl area. Lots and lots of nesting birds and bird feeding areas, etc. Yeah. Like I said, we're having a bit of fun today, although it is a Cornish Devonshire quest, Southwestern yep. quest. Southwest, Southwest quest. Southwest quest. We've changed the name to the Southwest quest. We've got five clubs each and a putter, I believe. Yeah. We, we, uh, but John says, do you want to play grassroots golf? So I thought, Grassroots golf, you may not have a lot of money, so let's try it with just five clubs. Yeah, that'll be good. Let's, let's get on to hole number one. We'll kind of explain it as we go. Did that make any sense? Made right? a lot of sense, yeah. And the sunshine in the as sunshine. well. The <laughs> sunshine. In Devon. I know, glorious <laughs> Devon. <laughs> we better be quick. Right, John, the first hole, hole number one, is called Squirrels, Great which name. is 230 yards. It's a par four. Well, looking at the card and the course, it looks like it's uh, just a straight ahead. It's pretty much a straight yeah, ahead. I think there so. are some trees and lots of hazards, I believe. There's a yeah. river and things that go around this course. It undulates around it. So there are tricky bits later. Yeah. Basically, it's straight out there, I think. That's right? it. So I'm going to use my favourite club, which is my one length hybrid. Oh, it's going to start well. We're going to play match play today. No no extra shots or anything, just for a laugh. Right. Uh, even after five holes, if you're winning 5 0, we'll just carry on. I doubt I'll be winning 5 0. Uh, we'll see. Man, we're off the mats as well. Yeah, we're off mats. Uh, I think that's how they normally play this place, so we're going to play them off mats. So I'm just going to try and get it up there somewhere. Okay, we're going to have to do shot tracer the other way round today. That's rather nonchalant, wasn't it? Yeah, we can't get shot tracer to normal side because of the trees in the way. Yeah, it's right. got down there somewhere, I think. Uh, the longest club I've brought with me is a six iron. Okay, well, that will sure. get 220 yards of me, so. No. Yeah. Should be in good position, I think. Ha! We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, no tees here, because I don't really like putting tees on it. <sighs> Straight up, you reckon? No. I more, think right? so. I think just to the left of that tree, big tree there in the distance. I, I left my house at five this morning. I'm not awake yet. Well, a bit low and a bit thin, but. It's, it's down, down there. there somewhere. So we're here, just uh, found John's ball, it's just to the right of the fairway. You're up a lot closer, you're, it's almost like you knew where you were going. <laughs> if only, if um, only. You'll sing a little bit of b-roll just to show you where the uh, green is. They're very small greens here, so it's a bit of fun. Uh, this one's very well protected. It does, yeah, a couple of bunkers and a lovely tree behind it as well, it's very yeah. nice. Take the 9-iron. Nine nine. Uh, we might explain what clubs we got in a minute, but yeah. I don't think there'll be a lot of good to me today anyway against you. A little better. We're playing grassroots, old school, so. Oh! Oh, might be close to the bunker. Might be just in the bunker, I'm we'll not see. sure, John. We'll see. That's, that's one one hole down. So I was mistaken. What I thought was your ball wasn't. No. But we have found it on the left. Yes. Um, still a very good shot, then, eh? Yeah, it's still good. Excellent. I'm going to move back a bit because you hit a high ball. Well, hopefully. So I'm just going to hit a little sand iron, I think, hopefully, John. That's the plan. Yep. Let's see where it goes. Oh, in the bunker, come on. No, it's just short. I think. Oh, you lucky, whatever. Very good. <laughs> Go on, roll, you little bugger. You're match playing. You know what I'm like in bunkers. <laughs> You'll be all right, mate. I know. Match play, John. This is a beautiful start to the day. What a it's lovely place. It is stunning. 
Uh, we saw a little train go by a second there, so you'll yeah. be seeing trains on this course in a while. Yeah, that goes down to uh, the uh, English Riviera and Torquay, I think it is. That's where it goes to. Marvellous. Uh, and then if it goes past there, it'll end up in paradise. I th <laughs> yeah, I and I don't mean uh, Plymouth. No. <laughs> right, so John's um, just come up a little bit short, but short yeah. of the bunker, thankfully. The, the bunkers we have been warned are a bit rough and ready right now because they've literally only just opened. Yeah. Opened in a week and uh, it's still going to take a while to get things done. We're telling you like it is, okay? Um, I wouldn't worry about that. Right, off you go then, I'm John. I'm worried about that shot because you're about three feet away from the hole. Yeah, it's quite good, really. Even if I say so Sliding myself. in the background, honestly, you. I don't know why I'm playing him without shots, <laughs> I'll tell you. Oh, that's, and that's why he's playing. Oh, lucky John. Oh, a little bank, didn't it? He just kicked the wrong way. Yeah, that's all right. But, you sure I don't get a shot hole? I thought I always play a shot hole okay, in these matches. Okay, have a shot hole. No, nah, no, nah. No pressure, we've had two put-offs. No, no put-offs, okay. For a cheeky little birdie, I think, isn't it? Cheeky little birdie, what a start. What a start that would be. Oh, and he did too. I don't know why I'm bothering. I don't know why I'm bothering. I, I'd just like to say a little disclaimer. Hello to all our friends in uh, Plymouth. Nothing wrong with you all, right? Yeah, John's in Janners. John's in Janners. Hello to all you Janners in Plymouth. But even in Plymouth, they know that cream goes on first. Uh, I used to live in Plymouth, I've been in Plymouth for six months. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> right, come on, John, get this one close. I don't need to, right, do I? No. This but, is more of you know, a practice putt. We're going to have a nice You're one up. The screen will say, not Neil, Devonshire Neil, one up. Neil, not Neil, Devonshire Neil. That's a great effort. Yeah, it's not bad. No. Right, we'll go off to number two. Okay. Oh, number two. Oh, number two. And I'm one a very short video. <laughs> <laughs> right then, so you have the honour. I'll, I'll put this camera in the tree so I can yeah. try and hopefully get a shot. Yes. So this is hole number two and it's called Louis Lair. Yep, don't know who Louis is, but... He's Larry. He's Larry. And it's a 165 yard par three. Okay. Again, it looks fairly straight, kind of in between the two big trees there. And we do go over a green. We do, and uh, not sure if you're a microphone, there's a mobile disco going by. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, there's a, there's a green kind of on the way to this hole, to this next hole. So you've got to be a little bit wary if the course is busy. Yeah. Just be a bit health and safety conscious there. Carry on, my friend. I will do. Luckily, we're the first people out of the day, so there's no one in front of us. And again, I'm just going to hit my little one length hybrid. Yeah, big keep it low and... Big shout out to Darren and the Cobra boys. Cause... Yeah, go on, yeah. Another Plymouth man. He just hits it so well, doesn't he, every time? I don't know why I'm playing. I don't. What are you hitting, John? Wait, uh, well, I'm going to hit the six iron, just, <laughs> but basically, that's the longest club i got in the bag. You, you said to me at the car park, let's play five clubs. I just grabbed five. You have got a lovely... Uh, that goes... I, 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 yeah, this goes to bed with this. me, John. I, this club goes everywhere with me. Yeah. Yeah, you kind of told me about trees. Yeah, sorry, John. John's yeah. uh, had a bit of a interaction with the tree, should we say? I did, yeah. I did watch the video with the road golfers and said it was Finton, so these things happen. They're in good company. Yeah. Wait for the comeback after the four holes down, on it? Absolutely. That's a better hit, from John. Right. Let's Just hope you're a bit right. I sure could well be a bit right, couldn't I? We're currently trying to find Neil's ball on the second. We're walking towards a ball that we absolutely know is not his because that's where we hit from and he hit pretty straight. But why are we walking towards it? Yeah, it's not my ball, John. No, I didn't think it'd be your ball. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. So we're one up on the balls already. Yeah, we're doing well. Right, if, it, know, yeah, if, if in doubt, yeah, check the hole, will you? Uh, no. 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 Absolutely nothing. Uh, we're still looking. Yeah. Three minutes. Three minutes. Yeah, Might be a laid back game, mate, but it's his match play. Three minutes. So, uh, we've had a good look around, and we can't find your ball. No, no idea where it is. It was a beautifully struck shot, and I think it, if it did go anywhere, it's probably gone over the back or yeah. in those bushes and things. Uh, the other ball wasn't yours. That was the train, by the way, going by, and that train. Proper golf courses have trains. So, Jeff, for a bit of fun, you're going to put your ball down. Yeah. Technically, I've won this hole, so he reckons, with a lost ball. Yeah, but, in so. theory, 
you just dropped an extra shot, haven't you? Yeah. Double little hit, see what we can do. That is the nature of this kind of course, it's very tight. You will lose quite a few balls here. That's nice. Very nice. A bit long, but well, very good. John was just short there, green. Yeah, you're going for the up and over. I'll go for a little dink along. Yeah. That flag is very close to the edge of this green. So. Oh, that's a nice little linksy type shot. Just got not, stuck not in the grass, unfortunately. Close, get to the flag. Um, so yeah, it's still it's basically one all. That's the only one I'm going to win a shot a hole today. Uh, <laughs> but we'll finish off playing just for fun. Okay. So like I said, the rest of this hole's just for fun, but Neil's going to put his along. So I'll just off the first row. Yeah. John, just get close. We're making our rules up as we go along. That's what you can do on a course like this. As long as you protect the course, look after it. Not bad, not bad. Just slow up a bit on the green there, John. Well, you're on the green. I'm on, on the, the green, green eventually. <laughs> So John's just short the green. That's good yep. enough for me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I had the extra shot for the block of the ball. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Well, actually, I won it with a proper win as well. A proper win as well. Hole number three, John. This yep. is called Kestrel's Keep. Okay. It's a 191 yard par four. Pretty much straight down. Yeah. But we we're noticing there's lots of hazards there. There's yeah, streams, lots of streams. Bits of trees, there's a little bridge up. The bridge. See. Yeah, not sure what you're gonna get when we get the other end. No. Uh, we were um, told earlier that the streams here used to be tiny, but they've opened them up and made it just more interesting. Yeah, it's really pretty. So it's really good. Yeah, it's very appealing the hole, isn't it, this one? Yeah, it's going to be good. Well, I'll try and hit it and see if we can find the ball this time, John. Yeah, well, you know, even a good shot doesn't always find your right ball, does it? I'll take out my pocket in a minute. No, I haven't got it, honestly. <laughs> oh, up a bit left. A bit left. It's a bit hooky and a bit, well not hooky, but it, I don't think you're staying in the right direction. You're on the left-hand side of the bridge, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. I'm short of that stream by the look of it. I got the ball, mate. Right, John's got his ball. He's got his weapon of choice, which I'm guessing is a six iron. It's the only weapon. Only weapon he's got. The train's going past. I'd like to say I've got one weapon, I know I can use it. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's good, up in the air, just a bit to the right. Just right. Yeah, I thought it was my flag, right? Hopefully I've gone past the tree. I think you've gone past the tree. I think you passed the tree and short of the trouble, I'm hoping. Yeah, hop over around front a minute. I was looking at the videos that yeah. we've done over the years. Yeah, so there's a big gap of about four years. There, there was, yeah. Not, not sure what that was about. Yeah. Well, <laughs> sorry. I tried to avoid you and you caught me up. <laughs> we played at Hale Golf. Yes. On a 12 hole approach course like this. That's the first yeah. time then obviously we've done the bigger and better things. Yeah. And now we're back to grab fruit stuff. It's downhill all the way, obviously. John. No, no, that's no, no. That's exactly why we love this thing. It is. It, is. Uh, it has got that hail, it's hail it's good, type good feel. Good player for me, but it's still nice and worthy to play, isn't it? Yeah, and I think being that person, it does feel a bit like hail golf. It's got that, you know, nice and relaxed approach. Yeah, with more hazards. Though. Yes, yeah, yeah, more hazards. I mean, when we played um, hail a long time ago, but it was lovely. It was a really nice yeah. day. I think Hale's one of my favourite places, I must admit. It's got a beautiful range. And things. Really good so range. You've seen that from the range video. Yeah. And the, um, the, the short game area is fantastic. Yeah. You know? And this is another reason why you use these places, because yeah. to practice your short game, yeah. but on grass. That's, that's it. That's good. it. So um, you're going to find my ball, ball yeah. and look for yours. Yeah. Right then, not Neil. Yeah. Uh, yet again, you've lost your ball. I'm too big for this course, John. That's what yeah, it is. Yeah, that's what it is. There are, there's a lovely kind of stream going that way, or the stream going across that way. You're in it somewhere. Yeah, I think I'm over there. So over there. I'd like to think I've brought a little Cornish pisky with me. To, uh, <laughs> I think that is the right word, pisky. Pisky. Um, for a bit of luck. Yeah. So we let you put one down. Yeah. Take an extra shot. We're right. making our own game today. To try and get over the stream this time. Yeah. Is that right there, John? Lovely. Yep. Nonchalant he is, nonchalant. Oh, that's lovely. Lovely. Well done. Really well done. Two, but you know. You go and find mine. Have you, have you found it? Yeah. Uh, I believe that may be my ball, John. I think that may be your ball too, mate. Yeah. I don't have a... No, I have got long a long enough, but... Never mind. 
No, such Doesn't a shame. <laughs> He's saying such a shame you should see the smile on his face. <laughs> John's was nice, the shot of the, uh, the water. Second shot now for John. Or not. Ah, yay! That was splashed. So do you remember, remember that one where I gave you that shot? Yeah. Now I'll get it back. Thank okay, you. That's fine. Mine's turned a bit, mate. Mine's in there. Yes, John's smile is not as broad as it was two minutes ago. It's because it's a laugh. <laughs> it, it, it's the tides or the stream has turned. How do you want to wait to go? Dan, where's that lesson? Yeah. I'd just like to say that if this goes out after the lesson, I'm going to have the lesson on Friday. We're filming this on Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, don't blame Dan. The only reason I'm going to blame Dan is because he didn't have an appointment this week. Oh, well up, John. Yeah, John went for safety first there, I feel. <laughs> yeah. Then we're all the same. We're all one up. We're yeah. all together. Yeah, yeah, I think you're going to be two one up. Okay. So John has safely negotiated the water. No, I've got a bush. Now he's got a big bush in the way. Yeah. That's part of my life that I want to go back to. Right. <laughs> oh, that's a lovely shot. Oh, but they're fast. Great. Oh, just rolled on. Wow. Okay. Greens are small and tricky. They are, and that's that's part of the fun here. That's why it's a challenge. Yeah. So fourth shot for you? Yeah, I think so. Just on the edge of the green. Okay. Greens look good though, John. Yeah, well I found out they are. Yeah. <laughs> and a little bit yeah, slick. Sweet, that's one of my back well, that's lovely. Oh, oh, oh I don't believe oh. it. Why am I playing? What what is it with you? I would, like, I would actually like to actually get a putt at some point. <laughs> Neil learned to putt. Well done. Thank you. Great shot, mate. Oh, Congratulations. Okay. Thank you. He says we gritted too. <laughs> the <laughs> smile is getting less and less, <laughs> folks. Right on number four. <laughs> what up you are now. Well Thank done. you very much. Right then, Neil, so hole number four. Hole number four, which unfortunately is called Splash. Splash. Oh, look, Laurie and a train did attack your uh, audio. Oh. Now. Go on. Do it again. No, no. Oh, okay. Carry on. All right, Karen. So yeah, number four is 104 yards and it's called Splash. Yes, it is. That's a bit unfortunate after the last hole. The last hole, that was splashy enough. Anyway, it's 104, par three. Yep. Um, there's water behind. It looks like there's water to the front of it as well. I did say it's a tricky little course. It's a course. tricky little course, so let's have a look. I'm, I'm loving it, I really am. But make sure you bring some balls with you because yes, you can so. lose a few. Let's see where we can go with it. So I'm a bit concerned there's water everywhere. Oh, very good. Bit left. Left, left, left. But it's dry. But it's dry. That's the key thing. I am currently in a load of brambles right now. <laughs> um, I'm going to give Neil my phone just to show the conditions you have to do as a YouTuber. I know. It's brambles, the life, trees. The life of a YouTuber. I know. It's not all glamour, is it, John? No, it's not. No, I wish it was. All glamour and money. Got one more for good luck. A nice shot from John, and he's dry. We're both dry. <laughs> well done, John. So Neil's just gone to look for his ball. We're pretty sure he knows where he is. So I'm staying here for a second by mine. There's some more of that wetland areas. They've got lovely ponds here. Um, tell you more about the birds, etc. In a little while. Found it. Well done. Oh, it's a lot closer than you thought. Was that when I was looking that way? Did you knock it a bit closer? Oh, I don't believe that. I could have sworn you were way left. Way left. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to chip it in now, so I'm going to put it in. Oh, I'm, honestly, I'm going to check on shot trace. I could have sworn you were way left. <laughs> so, I'm hoping that nice bloke uh, coming down the hole threw it there for me. Yeah, I'm going to check him when he walked by. Yeah. Excuse me, did you throw his ball towards the green? Talk about match play. Devonshire people, eh? Nice. Weld up a bit though, didn't it? Yeah, held up a bit. Still got potential. You might as well finish off and I'll see if I can, okay. you know, just because I'm lazy and can't probably go down that way and put a camera nearby. Nope. Okay. In for four. In for four, okay. Two for the win, John. John using the Cornish wedge. Yeah, I've got a part. Why not? I would. Quite tight grass, isn't it? It is very tight, yeah. Can you actually see where I am? You're talking like that. 
No. Uh, yeah, you're in. Yep. Yeah. Like, oh. Got the ball and everything, man. I, must admit, I didn't know if I'd actually before that. All right, so John Cornish wedge. Oh, it could be a draw hole. Well, it know. could be a draw hole. Yeah. That's the problem with a Cornish wedge. Yeah. John has got this for the win, though. No pressure. No, no, no pressure. About 12 foot. <laughs> and a bit of grass. No, that's good for me, John. Hole is halved in four. Well done. Draw a hole. But we weren't wet on that hole. No. That, that's got to be good. Let's go to hole number five. Yeah, I'm just going to spin it around a little bit because, yep, there was water in front as oh, well yeah. as behind. There was. So Morning, gentlemen. Morning. Can, can I ask a quick question because we're in a match play for a laugh, right? I could have sworn he hit his ball way left and everybody got here, it's on the edge of the green. You didn't kick it in, did you, from where you were? Yeah, blooming, blooming Devonshire people, honestly. You're all just ganging up on me because I'm, I'm living in Cornwall. I know. Right then, Mark, what are we doing? Uh, we are on number five, which is the Vicarage, next okay. to the very noisy road, unfortunately. There's a lot of cars going past at the moment. Busy it's week. a 135 yard par three. Yeah, it looks like they've got a bunker on the right hand side at the front, maybe yeah. something at the back as well. Yeah, and uh, I'm just still one up. You are, you're still one up. By the skin of my teeth. You're doing, you're doing a fine job, mate. Yep, unfortunately, only having five clubs. I haven't got a club that goes 135 yards. Well, oh, that's a shame. The clouds are building, I will say. I think it's going to be a good day today, but the clouds are building a little bit. Right. A bit worrying. Let's see what we can do. Obviously, no chance of me getting that on shot tracer, but... Landed somewhere. I think I'm just short left. Just really, short left? Just short left, I think. Uh, before we carry on, this is a wildlife, a wildfowl area. It is. Wetlands area. Um, I, I found this website, which I probably can't, there you go, which is all about birders, for birding. Oh, you birders, can, not birding. Birds. Yes, bird watchers, etc. Uh, and they're saying um, what place, what birds have been seen recently here. Go on then, John, what's so been seen recently? This, there we go, I'll put a picture on, on the screen. Uh, ring neck duck on yep. the 22nd, black, black crowned night herons on the 21st, white storks on the 20th, twice and golden orioles on the 20th. There you Excellent. Go. That's the, it's just about the top of your head there, but that's fine. But no birdies this morning, unfortunately. Yeah, I was looking up there if I was going to put a dive. <laughs> that's all. Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry, sure, I had a birdie on the first, didn't I? Did you have birdies on the first. Come on. Right. John may have to hit a different club than his six iron now. Yeah, I'll go seven. <laughs> go seven now. If, it, if it's straight, it goes straight in the bunker on yeah. seven, but yeah. Oh, we're on grass. We're on grass as well, which is do lovely. Are you on a tea? I put a, yeah, a very small tea. Oh, the train's just going past again. See, that's why. <laughs> well, I'm a little bit left. No, I think that's good, John. Nice and straight. Just distance, but a little bit left. Just short left. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm a, you're on the green, mate. Yeah, I'm on the smallest the green way. in the world. Not quite. I knew when I was doing this course, I should have bought Darren from Devon and not. Not Neil from Devon. I'd have had a chance, wouldn't I? Oh. Hello, Darren. Right, John's a good shot from John, nice and straight, just a bit short left. Not as good as the Devonshire boys. No. Though I don't know, that's a lovely shot, John. Oh! Uh, Excellent okay. shot. That's as good as I could do. No, that's, that's very good. good. Very good, John. So there's the bunker that we had to avoid there. There's a split green, which is actually quite small if you come from this where you have to hit the ball, but it's a long, narrow green. And there's a beautiful little bunker there, which is the donut green, which we'll show you in a second. Neil, go for the putt, mate. Okay. We were waving some gentlemen through, but they don't seem to be moving, so we're going to carry on. So, talking of geese and ducks and things, let's see if we get another birdie. You put this in and I'll scream. <laughs> ah! I'm saying nothing. <laughs> should we go to the next hole? It's, it's a good hole, the next hole. Ah, oh, I should have a shot hole. Shot hole. <laughs> so, have you got the details for hole number six? I have. Number six, John, is called Shell Duck. It's a very special hole because it's sponsored by the Rogue Golfers. Rogue Golfers, Can't indeed. get away from them. They've got a poster of themselves here. Last time I saw a poster of me with a famous golfer, it was Leo Whitaker. <laughs> Honestly, it was. 
Uh, so there is a charity day okay. going. Good. So I will be attending, and maybe Neil and maybe yep. some of the Buccaneers will around. attend as well. So the charity day to take part here. A lot of fun. If there's a video again, Rogue, I'm promoting Rogue Golf for Matter. They did a video last year about the golf day. It's for a charity called Jay's Aim, not related to Jay from Rogue Golfers, I yep. believe. Last year they raised money and they got a defibrillator here, which I believe had actually been used. Once really? So far. Yeah, that's good. Well, hopefully, you know, hopefully everyone went okay with that person. Uh, and they're now raising money for the actual charity that, that gets these provides and brings yeah. them to different places. So, the charity day, I'll put details below in the description. Friday, the 12th of July, £15 each. And it'll be a lot of fun, day. Awesome. Honestly, you should be a great man. Okay? So, so I'll, I'll be attending, the road golfers will probably be here, and we'll try to get, get some of the Buccaneers, moment. okay? But um, charity day, raise some money for Jay's aim to get defibrillators for places, £15 each, Friday the 12th of July. Hit a ball, mate. Tell us where ball. we are. Right, so I said it's called Shell Duck. It's 242 yards, a par four. Hang on. You told me we we'll bring five irons because you won't need a ah, yeah, driver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 240 yeah. yards, mate. I think I said five clubs, John. I didn't specify irons. That was your decision. So it's a par whatever it is. It's okay, a, yeah. yeah. It's down there. To be fair, there's lots of streams and I could... Yeah, there's at least two streams. And uh, this is the green that we slightly crossed when we were playing the second, I believe. Oh, is it a good one? A little bit right? A little bit right. That's okay. I think it's okay. I may have to borrow that. I don't even know if I can hit a hybrid, but I may have to borrow that. <laughs> As John said, he's going to use my hybrid now. Well, going to swing your hybrid. Going to swing my hybrid. Yeah, I don't do hybrid. How people know. It is a one length, so it's quite a short one. Oh, and it's a one. <laughs> Honestly, I'm handicapped enough to do this. Oh, yeah, that's weird. Yeah. I, I've got a bad bash. I can't bend that. <laughs> It'll good, it'll stretch your back out, I think, John. It's a low. It's fine. Oh, it's right. above ground and it's dry. Yeah. Oh. As you can see, they've got a fantastic little bridge set up here. There's another one over there. And uh, that's just a beautiful little river. That I guess goes into the River X. And the River X is over there, just past the train line. We just like to say thank you to the uh, lady and gentleman for yes. allowing you to use their uh, ball collector. Their ball retriever from the water. So we're now all square on balls we'll again, back, John. Back to balls again, that's good. Uh, so I think we've let people through. We should we be okay to yep. go for the green with a bit of luck. So it's plan. par four, John's going to have a tricky shot now. Uh, I have, yeah. You're not really going to see this shot um, because it's over there. So there's a big... Clump of bushes and some water in front of John. You're over on the right, aren't you? Yeah. have gone past one stream. Yeah. One I'm here, hopefully I've gone. Here, as the gentleman just said off camera, he's played it for years. It's a super tough course. You think it's easy because it's, it's a, like an approach course, but bring a lot of balls because there is a lot of hazards here. Small yeah. greens. You need to think about your shots, don't you? You've got to think about not going in the water, that's for sure. Well done, John. He's over. He's got to chip in anyway. Short and right, but that's good. It'll do. No, oh, not always. A bit left. Right, sorry. Oh, nice kick left there, which kind of strained it up. Yeah. Oh, you're getting all, you're getting all the Devonshire luck, so you are. <laughs> Local knowledge, you see. <laughs> Devon right. looks after its own. It does. Yeah, it did stop. The ball listened to you, John. It's, it's on. <laughs> That's about as good as I can say. But I'm a bit long on the putt, so I've yeah. kind of given you opportunity here. You get close. I've got to get that in. Bit of a bobble, but hmm, I'd have to say that's in. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, we'll let him have it. Thanks, John. This could be very quickly dormy, whatever. Now, I think uh, yeah. three up with three to play. Is yeah. It? Yeah. I got gentlemen on the tee about to tee off over Mad. All the all the distractions from Devon today, I'm telling you. <laughs> Everything's against John today. Yeah, everything's against Devon. Devon looks after its own. Gotta go for it, I'm not even sure. 
Let's try in. Oh, try Lucky in. John, take it away. You're three up with three to play, mate. Three up with three to play. So, no, we're having a little break a minute. Yeah. Because you are three up with three to play. Yeah. Doing all I don't right. believe it. But this this happens to be the uh, seat on the second. Um, there are some seats behind which are made from barrels. Barrels with bits of wood over. It looks very good. Yeah, very, very rustic. Very nice. I like it. I like it. Yeah, I love the idea of the rustic idea of it. Yes, and um, it's a really nice place. I mean, we're, oh, I'm having a lovely time here, John. It's, it's, it's very fun. nice. He's having a better time than I. <laughs> no, no. I mean, I, I fully knew the course was tricky and my game is not up to scratch right now. Hence why I'm having lessons again. Yeah. But, Around this area, it's really quite good for golf courses. So yeah. we are at Star Cross. We are, but there are obviously some more well-known courses that you would probably know better than here. This yeah. is a bit of a hidden gem, really, yeah. this, I think. Further down the road this way, you've got the Warren at yeah, Dawlish. Dawlish. Warren. Then you've got Tynmouth. Okay. And then you get over to Torquay and Churston that way. Further yeah, down. Bit for, I should have got the lesson today. And yeah, I would pop down and yeah. see if you fixed uh, my swing today. I and then this. moving the other way, up the estuary, going towards Exeter, because we're only about 20 minutes, 25 minutes yeah, from yeah. the centre of Exeter. You've got Exminster, Exeter Golf and Country Club. And then on the other side of the estuary, you've got... Uh, Woodbury, Sidmouth, East Devon, Honiton. It's a it's a real, yeah, just a really great place. It is. To golf. It's really good. It's really nice. Fanta place. Fantastic location. Just really good courses all over the place. Yeah. But you need courses like this. This is because ideal because not everyone's a member of a no, you know, not not say posh, but a, a full size. Probably quite expensive golf yeah, club. To yeah, join. I mean, what was this for, for the day, John? Did Fifteen pound for the day. Fifteen pound for the day. Yeah, because yeah, you, know, you won. You, you actually won a, a four ball here. I did from your your uh, golf day last year. Yeah, you did. It's, uh, uh, you haven't used it yet. So I haven't well, used it yet, so I'm going well, to I think you weren't sure about the place. No. Like no. most people wouldn't be. Yeah. And I saw for my, for my son and his mates, you know, they're 18, it'd be good for them to come, you know. Have a play nine holes, have a beer, play another nine holes. I think it'd be perfect. It'd be, it'd be ideal. And to be fair, I mean, it is quite an interesting course. You know, there's oh. it's not rubbish at all. Oh you know, no, absolutely really not. Impressed. This is this is uh, this is not a field. No, no. With some greens on it. No, no. Okay. That I've never seen. A, well, I, I will say a pitch and putt approach for style course with so many like, water hazards, yeah, yeah. with bunkers on most of the holes. You've got to, you've got to plot your way around. Yeah, if I, you can't hit to 20, 40 yards on that one we're just no. playing now. No. You have to plot your space. You watch the other gentleman. Yeah. He hit his between the two river areas, Perfect. and then another one hit his. You've yeah. got to plot where you're going. And that's why I was saying before that you know you don't need to have a driver. I'm sure you, you know you could on that hole you could have played seven iron, seven iron. And I think it's probably what you end up doing. Yeah. yeah. So it's again you learn course management yeah. here. Yeah. yeah. And it's just interesting that you know this, like John said, it's not just a field. There's trees. It's undulations. You know, there's water. Yeah. The rough. The rough is yeah. tough if you get near and it. Further greens are in really good nick. Yeah. Considering that it's only been open. Uh, two, two weeks, two weeks something yeah, like that. yeah. And think, so we're going to crack on. Yeah, three holes to go, but I got a chance on this one. Explain why. So Neil's just setting up on uh, this slightly raised tee box. Yeah. The details for this hole are hole number seven. It's called Pasty Boys. Oh uh, come on! I've got to win this. So hole. John's confident he's going to win this because the whole of the Cornish Army is behind him now. I think well, that's what I it think is. The Pasty Boys. I remember rightly the L that says say senior gentlemen that come and play here. Oh on a really? Basis. And they used the kind of little electric, yeah. Um, what would they be like mobility scooters yeah. and everything to come and play on a certain couple of days a week? Fantastic. They named after them. So um, that's great. It's 119 yards. 119 three. yards par three. Yeah, um, I have problems getting the camera behind. Yeah. So, so uh, give it a go. Our best on this hole. It looks like it's a very small green again, John. Yeah. Uh, there's the water way. to the right and short, and then water and stuff water, behind water it. Water everywhere. everywhere right? Yeah. Keep it dry, John. I think that's the aim. That's that's the key. Yeah. Don't hook it right. And, don't know what the trouble is on the sides. Well, oh, that's a great shot. I can't obviously close in on that. I mean, it's short, right? I think. Oh, I it's saw short, it land. Short than short than green. Short, short than green, but that's great. That's dead straight. Thank you. So you're short of the green, mate. Yeah. So John is um, using pasty power now. Sounding good. It'll be up there, but on the right-hand side. Well, it, it's dry. It's dry. It's dry. That's the important thing. Oh, that's a nice shot from John. Well, that's not bad. That's a very good shot. That'll do. That'll do. I'm still in the game. Still just, in the game. Just. Realistically, I should have. I should have never said we won't take shots, but ow, oh, all part of the fun. Well, it got held up by the grass. Oh, yeah. So I should probably have chipped it, but you know. well. There's a chance. There's, a, there's still a chance. There's still a chance. 
Yeah, that's the other thing about a course like this. You have, you have to decide where you want little dinky chips yeah. or you want little pitch and runs. And that's it. That's, that's what I think is really good about a place like this. Yeah. I was saying with my shot I just took, I'm really worried about doing those kind of soft little wedges. Yeah, but yours was really good because the greens are quite hard, quite firm. Yeah, so they're not yeah, really... yeah. Well, I'm very pleased with that in my level. Yeah. Um, but I've also said I've lost a 54 wedge somewhere. So if anyone sees a 54 Orca wedge with a red and black shaft on there, Somewhere in cold. Somewhere in cold. Somewhere in cold, cold yeah. yeah. Looking good, looking good. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm very pleased. So I'll take that away, yeah. Yeah, that's good for me. Well then, John. One for the win, two for the draw, but you've got this match. Signed, sealed and delivered. Oh. No. I think he might have done it deliberately, but... I didn't. I didn't. He, he's just to build I the did, suspense. I definitely didn't do that on purpose. I'm... I'm Look, I don't know. Look, he didn't say he was going to mess up the hole. But I don't like losing, John. <laughs> I didn't mess up on purpose. I just but can't I'll take it for well. a laugh, yeah? Anyway, we're going to play the other two holes here. Last two holes. I still think you won. All right. <laughs> so uh, he'll say thank you very much. Well done and goodbye. Off you go. <laughs> um, I'm going to play the other Bob and stuff. Now we're going to go play the next hole because it's a really cool one, isn't it? Yes, it is, Rafa. Uh, an island tea, not an island, an island green. green. An yeah. island tea. This is going to be fun. Right then, Neil, uh, congratulations again. Thank you. That's okay. So we're going to play the last couple of holes for fun anyway, because that's why we're here, for fun. We're on hole number eight. Hole number eight, which is uh, Goose Reach. I, goose thought reach. Said, I thought you said Goose Beach, but it's Goose Reach. No, there's a lot of geese around here. There's a lot of geese yeah, around I've here. I've been goosed, I reckon, today and by you. On, we're on an island tea. We are, yeah. I'm going to show you some pictures of it. We just watched the lovely, the lovely couple we saw earlier, and they just teed off on this green. Yep. So um, you're going to set up to hit a ball. Yeah. It's uh, 193 yards. I've only got six yards. 193 yards, par four. John's using his six yards. Shaking my again. head again. <laughs> um, I'm going to go over the water, which is over here, part of the pot, and take the film from probably back there. That sounds you good. Start. I will settle while you run around. You carry on. Ah, oh, now you do that. Now you do that sort of thing. Yeah, no good striking a pose, mate. You've already won. Hit another ball, but I will put that on. But hit another ball for fun. You've already won, so I'm not going to worry about the editing. While you're on the donut, you might as well have a go. Bit of a laugh. I just want to showcase a course for you. Didn't showcase my golf today. But we've had a few people today saying they're struggling. Yeah, it's, it's early days in the, in the golfing calendar. Just good to be out playing. It is. That's better. That's better. Right, so I'm going to let that run. I'm going to have a walk. Try and get round to where you are. Right, John's on the island T. Got his six yeah. iron in hand. Like straight down the middle. Oh, that's a lovely shot. Just pulling slightly to the left. On the left hand edge of the fairway, slight rough. That'll be all right. Good shot, John. So real golf, John. Well, yeah, real golf, but not the thing, isn't it? This is my shows my true handicap, I think. <laughs> it was a duff shot there. There we go. So just going to try and get it somewhere towards the green. It's in a bit of a rough yeah. patch, but better, much better. Slightly curling right to left. Yeah, just so, short. It's down there somewhere. It's down there somewhere. Absolutely. We're down there somewhere. <laughs> down there somewhere near Exeter. John just short the green. Now he's going to flick it onto the green. Nice hit. It's going to be a bit short. Yeah. I know. I second shot Again. recovery. Did all right. So John avoided the little stream. Well, I avoided the stream. Yeah. Yeah. The feet there. Better, but yeah, they run fast, don't they? Yeah. That's I'm lucky right. that I just went. That's all right. where, where are you actually filming? It looks like you're filming up here, mate. Were you? Right. No, you no, were in. I actually moved across and came back to you. <laughs> it was all very technical. Oh, it's a great putt. Go on. Oh, what? Oh, dearie me. <laughs> I, don't, I really don't know why I brought him to that. Well, I do know why I brought you, because you're really showing how to play with some lovely golf, mate. Well done. Thank you. So John did well with his chip there. He just The greens are really good. Just yeah, a bit well, hard. Just, just rolled on a... Little touch off the green. Hard, aren't they? So yeah. Oh, I thought that was in. Well done. Right, John. One more hole to go. One more hole to go. Of course. Then coffee and cake, I believe. Right, coffee and cake, I think. 
Right then, last hole, hole number nine, yep. Hole number nine, John, is victory. Vict well, there you go. That's Very fitting, playing. isn't it? Very fitting. Um, it's 135 yards, par three. Okay. Again, straight, there's a tree to the left and the bunkers. Bunker on the right. on the right. Yep. Let's go. And yet again, he's right at it. I didn't see it land. Didn't see it land. Oh, that's interesting because you, I, I think you're right at it. I so. do. One reason why I'm a lesson with Dan because my irons have been shocking since I've tried to change the swing and lost a bit of weight. It's gone. So maybe I need to be on these courses more often. It, yeah, would be good. Exactly what I need to do. It's not a bit thin. It's okay. Uh, well, yeah. It's Just to the right. Thin, that's okay. That's okay. That's a good that's shot from John there. Just rolling off just to the front edge of the green. Close enough. No cigar though. No cigar, but well played. One for the wet. Oh, well, oh. again. Again. Mr. Consistency. Go on, finish off. Finish off. Well done. So, Neil, how'd you get on? Did we you know how he got on. <laughs> Um, I did all right. Did yeah, all right. You did very well, and I didn't, and that's absolutely fine. Um, I may go down and bang on the door. It. I go and see Dan. Go we'll see Dan now. Remember that lesson on Friday? Yeah. Can we do it now? Is I she, think you need to. Yeah. It's just one of those things. Just a bad day at the office. Yeah. It's fine. But bad day golf wise for me. Good day golf wise for you. Yeah. Great location there. Lovely. I had a lovely time. It's, been, it's really nice. The place itself, people are so friendly. Yeah. Really. Playing room going there for the little patio area yeah. as well. Yeah. What you can't go wrong 15 no. quid per day. We've, we've seen the same man, we've been sitting around with a cup of coffee and a cake. Yeah, we saw them when we started, they went past us, didn't they? They got yep. around a second time. Yep, we've now finished doing the film and they've had a cake. And they've got up, he's off again. He's off again. It's uh, brilliant, it's absolutely brilliant. But he's it? just, you know, he's, he's just really nice. And they've got a little bar here now. Yep. And just see us start now open. At the Star Cross Golf Specials Board, and it's nine holes in a pint for 10 pounds. No, can't go wrong. Can't go wrong with that, can't you? Can't go it? wrong. Yeah, they, they do, I know they do a similar foodie one. The, the, the burger bit isn't open at the moment, but uh, I think I've seen a similar kind of price thing. For yeah. a, a burger, a cheeseburger, quarter pounder stuff. I think it's fries and a, and a nine holes of golf again. Yeah, it's stuff. just really good. It's but, but a bike starting up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're, uh, we're going to go. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I'm sorry about my golf, but hey, it'll improve. And we've got a lesson on the next video with Dan. Yeah. But we will be back here. I'm going to come back here for the charity day and we'll do a little video there. Maybe take the road golfers on here at some point yeah, on, their own, on their own yeah, tour. Yeah, that's a good idea. Bye, hey, lads. Road golfers, we're coming for you, mate. But I need some lessons first. Dan, Dan, he needs help. Well done, mate. Thank you. Very well done. Darren, when are you coming back on the channel, mate? Because I, I, I don't want him on the play on the channel anymore.